Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this new mount that I've designed up. Now, full disclosure, if you print this and use this, it's solely at your own risk. So I'm just sharing what I've done, not recommending it. So what I've come up with, and I'll have it out on Thingiverse, is this GoPro-style mount for the spark in these landing legs. You might recall in a prior episode, I did up a version of... Um, the mount for the 808 keychain camera which looks backwards. This version actually mounts a GoPro style camera. In this case it's my 4K 360 degree camera. Really it's it's like 320 degrees or whatever because it doesn't have a back. But um, it actually carries this and so you can mount any type of GoPro, GoPro camera down here. Now you have to do, you know, warning, you have to do a hand launch of this because this sticks down below. I'm thinking about building some launch feet to um, to beef this up and then launch it from those feet because uh, you don't want to get your fingers by these props. That's just a bad, bad thing. Uh, so again, anything you do is all on your own. Props, bad, cut fingers off, injure. So um, also, again, full disclosure, the Spark was never meant to carry this much weight. Does it carry this weight? Yes, I have flown it. I'll be doing some flight videos of this um, in, in a little bit. I have done some test flights with it. It does carry it, um, which actually surprised me a little bit because this guy is getting up there in weight. Let's actually see. So if we look at the scale here, we're at about 98 grams for this camera setup. So roughly 100 grams with this uh, 3D printed mount and zip ties holding it on so it's it's capable to carry quite a bit of weight this is one of the reasons I really hope that they do an extended battery extended life battery because I think they could actually put more battery in here but uh, you know again now this is a forward-looking version where this was a rear-looking one uh, so it went on a totally different way and uh, so again but very much like the 808 version zip strips to the legs here again GoPro style mount I've added um, uh, help me out here, RJ. Um, things that RJ always tells me to add. But anyways, um, definitely to strengthen these these mounts, um, you know, the GoPro style mount for, again, holding the camera and, and having lateral motion. Uh, the fit is very nice. This is actually a remix. I took this from a hot shoe version. Um, oh, and the control's complaining. Sorry about that. I left the control on. Um, so anyways, I'll have this out on Thingiverse. I'll have some pictures. I've overlaid some pictures on this. One to share this with you guys because I think this is potentially a cool feature. Now, my two cents, this guy is a little bit heavy um, for this. It, it does fly. It, it does work. Uh, oh, the other thing is battery drainage. Very fast. Don't expect eight minutes of flight time. I haven't done, I, I've only done a single test flight just to see if it works. Uh, battery drainage is probably almost double uh, normal. Now, when I did the 808, there was hardly any difference, but this guy is a fraction of the weight. If we go back and look at what was this guy. So this guy is 24, so he's about quarter of the weight of this one. Um, and this is actually pretty easy, but I want to check something here for a second. So one of the things I wanted to check is I'm also interested in doing the run cam on here. And so you see the run cam is coming in at about 60. Let's put this piece. Uh, you know, because this is quite heavy, actually. This is about 10 grams. I think I can come up with a lighter version of that uh, as well as, you know, so I'm at 12 grams just for the nut and bolt to attach it. I think I can come up with something a lot lighter weight than that. But even at this, this is probably, it'll only be about 75%. Now this 360 degree camera, or pseudo 360 degree camera has a huge lens on it. It is very heavy in comparison. But I think you can get away with something like the run cam a lot easier. Again, all up to you guys. I'm just showing you what my crazy rear end is doing. That's all. Um, so anyways, I find this very interesting. It does not, did not appear to interfere with the downward looking sensors uh, in my flight test. Now I don't know how this will work because this does go a little bit more forward like this. I think it'll be okay. What I'm, uh, you know, 
what I might do is design up a version that tilts back a little bit more. This might have to be tilted down a little bit like this for it to, to work properly. And again, you have to do, you, you know, basically a hand launch uh, to get this to take off. And again, I don't recommend it, even though technically DJI shows this uh, hand launchable. Um, again, I don't recommend it. But again, totally up to you. So I'll have this out on Thingiverse. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you did find it interesting, hopefully you're also thinking about what you're going to have for lunch. So you can let me know down in the comments below. Uh, also, don't forget, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you go out to Thingiverse, uh, you know, follow me out there on Thingiverse. I'd appreciate it. If you do a build of this, please, please, please do. Uh, I made it on Thingiverse and post a picture out there. And let me know how it works. I love getting feedback from you guys. Um, it also helps share the work more if people do makes out there, and I really appreciate it. And, and that's one of the reasons I do these is to share this with the community, and again, at your own risk. And, uh, hey, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.